Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben. Now, before we get into the GameStop talk, I'm going to say two things. Number one, I could be wrong. Number two, a lot of y'all are not going to like what I say in this video, but listen to the end. And then if you think I'm wrong, you can discuss it by leaving your arguments in the comments below. Now, that being said, behind me, you can see GameStop's chart. And we can see this thing went from $15 the other day all the way up to $380. It's a three-day span. The stock has went crazy, absolutely crazy. And a lot of people has been making some money. Now, the driving factor behind this is, or at least who's taking credit for it, is some of the groups on Reddit like Wall Street Bets and Stock Twits. They think that they have short squeezed all the institutions and Wall Street investors on these stocks, which allowed it to rip really hard because all those companies that were the big money were short on GameStop and AMC. So if you don't understand what happened, that's the short squeeze part of it. When you have a whole bunch of sellers, a whole bunch of shorters on a stock and the buyers outweigh those sellers and shorters, the stock price goes up. The shorters have to cover their positions, which means they're buying the stock. So that's more buyers. So the price continues to shoot up and that's a short squeeze. Now, they think they have done this and maybe they have. It is a possibility. I think I saw Wall Street Bets has 2 million people. If 2 million people buy $500 worth of uh, stock, you can do the math. That's a lot of money. But Wall Street has been around a very long time, and there's been a lot of different scams and hoodoos and money manipulation, especially from Wall Street themselves. The movie Wolf of Wall Street was not a fictional movie. That happened. Jordan Belfort is a real person. He has a YouTube channel. If you want to hear the Wolf of Wall Street in person, not Leonardo, not the guy on the memes, but the actual trader, Jordan Belfort, he has a YouTube channel. So this is nothing new. If you've been in the stock market any amount of time, you know that stocks running massive rips is not new. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens quite often. I'm not surprised to see GameStop go this high uh, at this point. Now, when it first started and it was down at 50, I did in the live stream say that I think it's overvalued at 50 and that there's no way that it would get to 100. Because if you look at the company, they're a trash company. I mean, think about it. GameStop has not been able to keep up with the other competition that they have with Xbox and PS5 selling their games on the consoles. You don't even have to leave your house. You can just buy the game there and download it. GameStop has taken a hit and as well with Amazon's competition. And there's just so much competition in the selling game market that GameStop's had a hard time keeping up. We know this because GameStop was closed to bankruptcy. Same thing with AMC. We're talking about a movie theater company. Everybody went to the movies before COVID, but before COVID, AMC was over leveraged. They were way in debt because Netflix and the ability to buy movies from home and watch them. If you don't have to leave your house, a lot of people will stay home. Not everybody likes to go to the movie theaters. But what we've seen over the past 10 years, AMC and these other movie, movie theaters have lost have lost value they lost a lot of customers covid when the lockdown happened no customers amc and these movie theaters had no customers whatsoever they were already heavy leveraged now they have no income to pay down their debts at all they're not having any revenues they too were on the verge of bankruptcy so both these companies amc and gamestop we're both on the verge of bankruptcy. So these are not good companies. These are not companies that you're going to invest in and expect to be around in 15, 20 years because most likely they won't. Something better will come out and replace them. We'll have virtual reality movies because that already exist. If you have an, Oc an Oculus Quest, you don't have to leave your house to go and watch a virtual 
reality movie, you can just throw on the headset and watch a movie in VR. So they will get replaced. GameStop, to me, has no future. Like I said, I could be wrong about all this, and you're welcome to argue in the comments and we can discuss it. But I don't think that's why they chose these companies to push up. Or maybe it is the reason why they picked garbage companies knowing that the short positions from institutions and hedge funds were really high on this. So there were a lot of short positions, a lot of money on the short side. So maybe that is why they chose these. And then they tried to make the short squeeze happen. Now, I would give them credit if, if credit is due and that is, they are the reason that these stocks have ripped. But I'm seeing all over social media right now, GameStop is everywhere. Okay, everybody's talking about it. I have three different people I talked to today who said they've invested in AMC and GameStop, GameStop and they never invested in their entire life until now. This tends to happen a lot in the stock market. You get something hot, everybody thinks that they're going to get rich, and people who have no idea what they're doing are flooding into the markets. And I know there's been a lot of people flooding in the markets because a lot of you watching this probably are very new to the stock market. So on my channel, I've seen significant growth just in a couple last days from all the new traders coming into the markets. If you're new, you definitely want to be paying attention. Now, what I think is happening, this is what I really think is happening. And this is where you're not going to like what I'm going to say. I do not think that those traders on Reddit and all these retail traders, which uh, is me, which is you, anybody who's not a professional institutional trader is a retail trader. I don't think we all combined have enough money to go against Wall Street. Now, I don't like to get political on this channel, but Wall Street was Joe Biden's biggest donor. Wall Street also is connected directly to the Federal Reserve. Whether they say they are or not is irrelevant, but when Jerome Powell, the head of the Feds, starts talking about something, the whole market perks up and listens because they are correlated very directly. The money printing, all that stuff, correlates with the stock market. It's all value and money. To say that these Reddit retail traders are sticking it to Wall Street and these corporations seems very naive to me. And I mean no disrespect to anybody. But to think that you have more power than the government and the money printers, the people who are creating all the cash right now, handing out the stimulus checks, if you think that, you might want to rethink your position. Now, I'm not going on a big conspiracy here. This is not like some crazy Alex Jones conspiracy theory. All I'm doing is following the money. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, okay, well, is GameStop going to 1000 That's what the video said. Well, the answer is, I don't know. And the reason is because it could go to 1000 You know, with the stock market, anything's possible. If you follow in the live streams, I say it all the time. You never know... 100% sure of anything in the stock market. So it very well could go to 1000 It could go to 500 It could sell off tomorrow and be back down to $26 or $20 like it was three days ago. All those are possibilities. Right now, these Wall Street bet people and Reddit are claiming that they're in control of this stock. I don't think they are. And I think as soon as Wall Street and these big hedge funds and institutions get done playing this little game, they're going to yank the rug out from everybody. Now, some of the people who've probably made a lot of money already on GameStop and AMC, it's probably not going to affect them. They've probably made a, a ton of money and they're happy and they're done. Maybe. They could you know, go into something else a week later and lose all their money again. But what we're seeing right now, like I said earlier is all these new retail traders, all these new people, including you, if you're new, I'm talking to you right now directly, you're coming into the market because of this. It's like 
if you're holding up a little pork chop in front of some hungry pit bulls, because let's be honest, 2020 wasn't an easy year. A lot of us had some struggles. You know, not too many people were in a great position when the COVID lockdowns happened. So we're all kind of hungry pit bulls. And right now, Wall Street's dangling a nice, juicy steak right in front of our faces. Come on, come by this GameStop. You guys have control of it. And you're seeing the media articles and all this stuff. Hey, they've got control of it. It's going to rip. They're sticking it to Wall Street. Even AOC herself said, I, I'm happy to see them sticking it to Wall Street. It's a very popular narrative right now. And in case you haven't done any history on the stock market, nobody's ever stuck it to Wall Street and nobody ever will as long as they're in the position that they are in. They have way more money than all of us combined and way more power, like I said earlier. This is a nice bait and switch. Now, to back what I'm saying, because if the institution, uh, institutional investors and hedge funds are playing this game, they must be moving money somewhere else. You know, they could, if they are losing money here, which is they probably are, some of them are probably losing money, but the money they're losing is not going to be enough uh, for the money they've made. We're talking about firms and stuff that's made billions of dollars. Losing $20 million is not that big a deal to them, especially if it's all part of a plan to make a lot more money. So they've got everybody over here dangling this stake in the stock market. Now, what's happened with cryptos the last couple of days? Cryptos have dropped a lot in the last couple of weeks. They went on their big runs. Bitcoin ran up to 40,000, Litecoin up to 185, Ethereum almost up to 1,500 or maybe even hit 1,500. I don't remember. Uh, but there's a lot of cryptos that went on some nice runs. Well, at the beginning of the year, we started hearing about more institutions and hedge funds starting to buy into cryptos. Here's the thing. When you're a hedge fund or an institution, you are using millions and millions of dollars of other people's money. And you can't just go buy a stock or a crypto all at once with millions and millions of dollars. If you do that, the price is going to shoot up and everybody who's been holding them are going to sell. And then you're, you're going to lose all your money. So these big firms can't do that. They have to buy in slow. Well, when they started buying in, those cryptos started ripping big. And they ripped too fast and too big before those hedge funds and stuff could fill their positions. But remember, cryptos are decentralized. Nobody has control of them. So that's why it happened to them. So what did Wall Street do? And this is just my speculation, of course. They said, we've got to get everybody out of cryptos right now to bring the prices down so we can stock up on them. Right? Sounds like a plan. So what did they do? They got us a stake. GameStop. What's a company? What is a company that everybody knows? Everybody knows GameStop. What's a company that's super cheap? Everybody knows GameStop has been super cheap in the stock market if you've been investing. Same thing with AMC. They took such a hit for COVID. So there's the stakes. They're over here waving the stakes at the, at the hungry pit bulls. Get out of the crypto market. Come on. Come on over here to the stock market. Look at, look at all this money you can make. Stock market, look at it. You can make all this money. Come on, get this little stake. You can do it. Come on. Crypto started dropping. All of a sudden, at the same time, we've got GameStop and AMC running up. So in the past two weeks, we've seen these cryptos go on little spikes and then drop down a little bit lower, then go on another little spike, drop down a little bit lower. So, so what is that? There's money leaving the market, people selling off, selling out of cryptos, but there's money slowly coming into the crypto markets. It's what those little buy pushes are coming from. Every time one of those cryptos has a little push, it's a little bit more buying. So I think the institutions and hedge funds are loading up on cryptos right now while everybody else is paying attention to this fat juicy steak that is GameStop. And I'm going to tell you why. I didn't just come up with this out of the blue. I've been noticing some things with crypto. I've been paying very close attention besides that stock chart movement that I just mentioned. 
which we can take a look at the we'll take a look at one of those charts in a second. But I want to show you guys a few different things here to kind of back up what I'm saying, just so you know that I'm not full of shit and I brought receipts. So let's get into this. Okay, so this is Atmex.com. Atmex is a gold and silver broker. It's where I buy a lot of my gold and silver. Just yesterday, just yesterday, I got a notification that they are now accepting crypto. Okay, very interesting. Gold and silver broker is accepting crypto. And here's the next thing. Peter Schiff, if you follow economics at all, Peter Schiff called the 2008 housing market crash, and he's been calling for another crash uh, here recently. But he is very bearish against crypto. He made bets against Eric Voorhees that crypto wouldn't be anything or whatever their bet was. And he, he won the bet, but now cryptos have came back up, so I don't know if that means he lost the bet, whatever. But that's not the point. He's against cryptocurrencies, right? Well, this is his website, Shift Gold, his gold exchange. And what do we see right down here at the bottom? Pay with cryptocurrencies. Very interesting. So gold and silver right now, the brokers and the storage places and investors like Peter Schiff are trading their gold and silver for cryptocurrencies. Now, gold and silver have been known as the most uh, safest investments to hedge your money in uncertain times like right now. Why all of a sudden are these people who never would trade their safe bet in gold and silver, why are they trading it for cryptos right now? And this is not these are not the only companies. All right? I googled one I googled one thing. What major companies accept Bitcoin as a payment right now? So we're going to look and see some of these companies. Wikipedia, Microsoft, AT&T, Burger King, KFC, Overstock, Subway, Twitch. Twitch is owned by Amazon. Keep that in mind. Pizza Hut, Miami Dolphins, Dallas Mavericks, Virgin Galactic, Norwegian Air, Namecheap, Cheap Air, Gift, Newegg, The Internet Archive, Pirate Bay, 4chan, Mega, Amazon, not directly. While they don't accept Bitcoin directly, you can use purse.io. But you can also use cryptos on Twitch. So how much longer do you think will it'll take before Amazon just makes crypto an option? And then you can see ExpressVPN uh, and whatever that company is. And then the list just goes on and on. But there's a lot of major companies that are accepting crypto, specifically Amazon indirectly. So if the gold and silver people are trading their gold and silver for cryptos and all these major companies are starting to accept cryptos where do you think these institutions and hedge funds are at do you think they're sitting there paying attention to GameStop a company that's going out of business that was on the verge of bankruptcy same thing with AMC do you think they're moving millions and millions of dollars into those companies no, but the retail traders are. You might have. You've put your money there. But they're not there, are they? Oh, no. Because they know what they're doing. They are one step ahead of retail traders all the time. The big money is switching to cryptos. And this was the perfect opportunity. Whether they planned it or not, it was the perfect opportunity for them to hold a stake out there to get those crypto prices down so they could load up. Now, I could be wrong, but this is just what I think is happening. I'm following the big money. If you're following people on Reddit, you're following every retail, everyday retail traders. They're not big money. They don't have billions of dollars. If they did, they wouldn't be so hype about GameStop running a couple hundred bucks. Okay? So the big money is not there. The big money is putting their money somewhere else. And we saw today the stock market took a pretty nice size hit, which I've also been calling for the last couple of weeks. And there's a lot of reasons for that. But we'll save that for another time. 
the U.S. dollar, however, everybody is pretty sure is going to take a hit from inflation or deflation either way. Of course, deflation makes the value of the dollar go up, actually, but makes all the prices of everything else drop. Sounds like a, sounds like a good thing, but it's not exactly. It, it can be a good thing long term, but the short of it is deflation is not good in the short term, especially after COVID lockdowns and all this stuff. And inflation, that's driving the value of the dollar down. And hyperinflation is the worst possible outcome we can get. That's what happened to Zimbabwe and multiple other countries when they printed a bunch of money. So we're already in a currency crisis. Well, how does everybody get their money from stocks? When you sell a stock, you get cash. Well, if we have heavy inflation and cash is dropping, that cash is not going to be that valuable, is it? No matter if you've got a million dollars in the stock market, you pull that out into cash and the value of cash is only 10% now, well, you just actually lost a lot of bit of money in value. But if you are in cryptocurrencies because they're going to be the new form of payment accepted worldwide, you can, you can figure it out from there. Now, I'm not a huge advocate of cryptocurrencies. I want to make this clear. I just started getting into cryptos a couple of weeks ago. I've been in the stock market for six years. So what I'm saying about GameStop I, is from years of experience. I've seen this happen multiple times on multiple different stocks. There was a stock last year that was a some cartoon stock where Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to be the main character or something, and the stock went on a massive run, and everybody thought it was just going to go to the moon. And then they got the, the rug yanked out from under them, and a lot of people lost a lot of money. There's horror stories after horror stories in the stock market from retail traders getting caught up in the hype of these plays like GameStop and AMC that shouldn't be going on these massive runs. The value of GameStop should not be that high. So I'm going to hop over to my crypto broker real quick, and we're going to look at some charts. All right, so here we have Bitcoin. You can see Bitcoin, this is the massive run I was talking about, and then what happened? Sell-off. That was people locking in profits. Bitcoin just went on a massive run, they're locking in. Then another little bounce there, then a sell-off, then a little bounce there, and a sell-off, and a little bounce there, and a little sell-off. Little bounce, little bounce, and you can see it dropped again today, but what happened? Little bounce. Somebody, somebody or some people are buying this every time this dips. Buyers are coming in every single time that Bitcoin dips, all right? Now, Bitcoin could continue to sell off. It's very possible, right? Everything's possible when it comes to equities. There's no 100% there's no guarantees. But what I do know, just by looking at this chart, people are buying it when it drops. Somebody's buying it. Let's go look at a couple other, other ones. Ethereum. Now we got the same thing, but Ethereum is actually moving up. So Ethereum with the nice pop, big sell-off, bought right back up. Little sell-off, bought right back up. Big sell-off, bought right back up. And we're in the same type of thing where we're having a little sell-off right now. So probabilities, we've done this one, two, three, four times. This will be the fourth time. Could be a good probability that it gets bought back up again, but it's pointing in this upward direction. Remember, retail traders are pushing GameStop up. They've got control of it, right? But those big institutions and investors, they, they don't buy in all at once. They buy in little bits at a time. They keep putting their money slowly into these uh, either equities or gold and silver or cryptos. And you can kind of see that. Now, I don't know if it's them. I don't know. I don't know for sure if this is uh, the institutions and stuff buying these dips. All I know for sure is somebody is. And they're buying enough to make it pop up. Let's see what else. Litecoin's the other big cryptocurrency. Same thing. Massive run up. Big sell off. Then a, then a little pop. Big sell off. Little pop. Big sell off. Little pop. 
Somebody is coming in buying these cryptos same, same around the same time too. Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin all getting bought up. Same time. Litecoin has almost the exact same pattern as Bitcoin and they follow each other close. But you can see, even though Bitcoin had this big dip, it's still in an upward motion. But right around that time that it's gotten to its lowest prices here, see today's the 27th, so that's right here. GameStop started running on the 24th, I think. That's right here. Bit of a sell-off here that's been happening. Now, is it GameStop moving up? Is this coincidence? These two charts, the, the timing, the moves, the downward move on Bitcoin at this time and these other cryptos and the upper move on GameStop. So could be coincidence. It all could be coincidence. It could be that AppMex just started taking cryptos just cause, you know, Peter Schiff taking cryptos for gold and silver. Maybe he just wants to get a couple of cryptos here and there, whatever. You know, it's possible. Anything's possible in the stock market and in the equity and financial worlds. All I'm doing here is presenting you with information and showing you the time and showing you a timing coincidence and a chart price movement coincidence. And cryptos are not in the stock market. That is outside of the stock market. But GameStop and AMC are having an interesting uh, inverse to what Bitcoin and those other cryptos are doing right now. I don't know if you believe in coincidences. I could be wrong. Is it possible that GameStop goes to a thousand? Sure. But what you'll see is more and more people start to hop into GameStop as that happens. Reddit and Reddit stock twits and Wall Street bets, they all might think they have control. But as soon as these uh, hedge funds, these people with the power and the big money, as soon as they decide that the game time is done, the games will stop, pun intended. So that's it, guys. That's my theory. The information is there for you. You know, do your own research before investing. I'm not telling you to buy or sell GameStop. If you've been following me, you know I don't tell you to buy or sell anything. All I'm saying is I'm paying attention to more than just GameStop moving. I'm applying my years of experience in the stock market and what I've been recently learning about crypto. And I just happened to see both of these uh, coincidences happen and was able to connect the dots. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. I live stream every day that the market is open, most of the time, right at market open. So come join the live streams, come join the trading community. We talk about all this stuff all the time, constantly. Stocks going on big rips is nothing new for us. We see it all the time. So come join us. Stay safe out there. Until next time.